But the truth, I look better under you I can't lose Welcome to Beautiful Snow TV and welcome back snowflakes and welcome if you are new. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification so you don't miss any of my videos. So we're going to jump right into the products we're going to be using today. We're going to be using some of that Beatles white gel polish. These beautiful little cherry stones were so cute. I got these stones, um, these rhinestones as well from Dynamic Nail Supply as well as the cherries. And I also got this off of Amazon, the Beatles polish and McCart um, poly gel A Siesta. So this is really really good I love this um, new color I really like it so let's get right into the video and here I'm gonna be using this peel off base coat now like I said before this stuff works really really good so I'm gonna be using my non-dominant hand today most of you know I am right-handed so we're gonna be using um, our right hand for the demo of the nails today so I'm just gonna go ahead and put on a even layer of this peel off base coat and I'm gonna go ahead and cure for a full um, 120 seconds I know it's a little longer but it has instructions on the back of that bottle if you do read instructions on the products that you do receive and did you do use um, try to follow the instructions on each product that you use so for my particular nail lamp it has 120 seconds as curing for the full cure for this particular base coat so I will go ahead and cure this for another a good 120 seconds and then we'll jump right into the nail set All right, and here we have some alcohol. I'm just gonna be using this alcohol as my slip solution for my poly gel application because we are using poly gel today. Um, I actually love using poly gel. It is such one, it's one of my favorite um, ways to apply nails. So as you will know, <laughs> I am the worst at the peel off base coat. So that's why I just went ahead and bought one, but I still go ahead just as an extra precaution and cure my tips on with base coat. Uh, I'm as always gonna be using this one from Born Pretty and I just used my dynamic neck lamp um, that I got from dynamic nail supply here in Houston and I got this one for about $25 so I feel like it was a great investment because this comes such like it's a big help it comes such in handy like it's really really great so I use this lamp to adhere my clients nails I also use this lamp to adhere any gel X nails um, and also to adhere my um, own tips on my peel off base coat So just to pop in and say a couple things to you guys, I just want to say that I'm very grateful to you guys for watching my videos, commenting, and I really do appreciate your presence here and actually taking the time to actually say something and just subscribe and it's just really, really 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 grateful to have you guys here on the journey with me so i'm also have big announcements coming up stay tuned don't think i'm not just you know i haven't been too present right now but i do have lots of videos coming up i have lots of um content coming up for you guys i'm gonna try and do some introduce some new things to the channel here and i hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned So as you guys can see, I went straight in with that base coat on the nails. I actually love these tips. Uh, you've seen me use these several times on my channel before. And I do not feel like I need to cut them down, shape them, or reshape them. They fit perfectly. Um, I also feel like if I rough up the nail tips, uh, I'm just going to put base coat over it because I'm not doing an acrylic set. So the base coat helps the um, poly gel adhere to the nail so I don't feel the need to rough them up. So yeah. So here we're going to jump right into the poly gel application. As always, I get these brushes from Amazon. I will go ahead and try to link them down below. Um, some stuff, guys, I did buy in store. So <laughs> please bear with me if I can't link something below. is because I have bought it in store. And I will try to make sure that I put that in the comments, in the 
description box as well. So I usually do a 1B method, but I'm trying to get better and faster at my polish gel application. Um, so far it's worked, but I am a slow worker. Even with my clients, um, they don't complain at all. Like they love the end results and they, you know, love the fact that I'm doing nails on them. So I try to make sure that, you know, I can just speed this process up. So I'm gonna try to do a two bead application here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lay the first layer down, cure that, and then I'm go in with a cuticle bead and just blend it all down and watch the process. And so sorry for being out of frame right here, guys, but I had to get real close to my face to get that cuticle together. So I'm almost done with this first layer, and I'm going to go ahead and cure this first layer for a full 30 seconds. And now we're going to go in with that cuticle bead there, and I did already apply it, and I'm just going to go ahead and build up that nail apex there. So it's not flat, so we have a good structure on the nails. I feel like good structures on nails, um, it is a fact, but me personally, some people like flatter nails. I have a client who likes flatter nails. Uh, to her, it just looks a little bit more natural. You know, not more like extensions, but she does like a more natural look. So a flatter nail is a more natural look. But when you're building it with extensions, I do feel like a um, an apex is, you know, good structure also to help the nail last a little longer and not break so easily. And just as a reminder, whenever you're doing poly gel or any type of nail extension, you want to make sure you check the size to make sure you're building a good apex for the structure of that nail as well. Just want to pop in and say that. <laughs> Let's continue to finish up with this thumb. And I'm so sorry for being out of frame, guys. I was just trying to, you know, push my hand to the lamp. <laughs> And the thumb is all done and cured and obviously has a great apex. The nail is built very well. I'm going to go ahead and do this all to the nails. And boom, all of them are done. So I'm going to go ahead and do some filing here. I love the way the apex was built up on each nail. It wasn't super flat. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my um, nail drill here from Melody Susie. I want to upgrade nail drills, but I've been so busy with my life <laughs> and making these videos. Sometimes I have forget about the things that I want to try and want to buy. So yeah, I'll be updating that soon though as well. So I'm just going over my with my sanding band there. This is a, I think this is a 150 grit. I'm just going to go over this all with the nails. Um, I did go ahead and wipe off the nails with alcohol already. Make sure you do not skip that step. I know I did not show it in the, in the clip here, but um, please do not skip that step when you are using um, poly gel extensions because it will um, not work with filing. You won't, get, won't be able to file to the nails. It'll gunk up your nail file and the poly gel residue will be in your nail file, it'll be in your e-file, everything. So please make sure to wipe off that tacky layer with alcohol or whichever slip solution you'll be using. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go over the entire nail and some of the cuticle there, but I will be using a different bit as well. And let's just watch the filing process. And as you see here, I'm gonna go in with my fine bit, um, cuticle bit, safety bit, 
Um, this one is all of those in that that are white here. They are ceramic. Um, I did get these off of Amazon. Um, I noticed and learned new things all the time. So I noticed that after a while, it starts to get dull. So when I do start to get dull, make sure you go ahead and just buy some new ones. Change them out. I think I got these from Amazon. Um, maybe $12. So I'm also going to go in with this... Um, carbine bit this is the one i also got from amazon i think i did link this below in the last video and this one right here is not a safety bit um so please be careful when you're using um bits that are not safety ones that do not have the round bit on the top i did have to get a little closer in for me to see that cuticle so yeah so that one's all done and i am using my hand file to sharpen up the shape um that's just my preference some people you know don't like a sharp stiletto but i don't like it too sharp but i do like it and as you see that peel off base works too well so i popped it back on y'all had to glue it back down guys so sorry i did go ahead and finish shaping and file in there so i tried to go ahead and just kind of finish that thumb because that thumb was getting on my nerves it just kept popping off so I do apologize if it made the, little, the video a little bit longer, but I'm just going to head and finish up the shaping of the nails and we'll be right back with the next step. I just wanted to pop in and say I hope you guys are enjoying this video and if you are go ahead and click on that subscribe button and support your girl for free. I just wanted to pop in and say, I know you guys can kind of see that the shape of the pinky has been um, flawed. So that's why I'm kind of working with it a little bit longer than the other ones. The other ones are fully shaped and ready to go. But that pinky was just, you know, it had a little indention on the side. So I had to file a little bit more. Just a, a tip, the better your poly gel or acrylic application, the less filing you will have to do. So I did go ahead and take my sanding band and did go ahead and file that down. And then I got the shaping right on that one. And here we go, we are all shaped, filed, and buffed. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that Beatles White Gel Polish here. As always, I'll leave the products used in the description below. I'm gonna go ahead and take my double-ended, um, double-sided liner brushes here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the smaller one. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw me on some Frenchies on a few of these nails. So we can go ahead and watch that progress. So as you can see guys here, I am using my left hand. This is my non-dominant hand. I am a righty. I know, I know I'm a righty, but 
it was a little bit difficult to draw Frenchies with your non-dominant hand, but I feel like I, I did pretty good. So let me know in the comments, guys. Make sure you drop your cherry emojis in the comments and let me know what you guys think of this set. So once I did get that onto my liking, I held it upside down for a couple seconds and I cured and I did do the thumbnail, middle, and the pinky and a French. And we're going to go ahead and try to draw. Now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys. This nail, it had me messed up. Like, I, like, and then on top of that, my left hand was not helping, like, my coordination with this left hand. Like, trying to draw a new design I've never done before. It was just a little different so i was trying to draw the lace you know how they have like a little laces and like a lace up and like they have like little bows on each you know cross of the lace and that's what i was kind of going for this like y'all i had to wipe that off and try again and then i messed around and cured one side and that side wasn't the proper side that needed to be cured like i should have did the x first and then cured it not cured after each line <laughs> So that was my mistake here. Uh, if I do this design again in a different form, in a different you know set, I will know how to do. So I also started from the top. I do apologize for being out of frame, but I had to get close to my face, y'all. Like I was really struggling with my left hand. So as you can see, I have the lines drawn here. At this point, I have not cared um, because I do have some there on my skin, but I will go ahead and show my progress there so I do apologize for being frame. I was trying my hardest to be you know in frame but as you can see I was having difficulties <laughs> tech no difficulties we have a tech 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 <laughs> we have a technical difficulties y'all like oh my gosh I was so mad at this nail like I kept wiping it off kept wiping it off I was just really upset with this nail because I just wasn't grasping the simple concept of a couple of a few X's so I finally got the top and the middle together and that one looked perfect and then I went back and I tried to get this one and I kind of messed it up but I didn't realize it until I pulled it out the lamp so I was like let me like look you see that right there look at and then my pinky was in the way and I just had to get stable so you see how I tried to fix it there but that was the best I could get it y'all <laughs> not gonna lie that was the best I could get it so I hope y'all don't don't drag me in the comments for this please I am still a beginner and this is not I've never done before I've always wanted to do it but and boom I did get that one done it looks a little bit better but I tried to wipe off the middle part and I was like oh shoot I cured it I was like oh crap <laughs> So this is the final result for that one. It still was cute. You know, my charm was going to cover it up. So we're going to go ahead and top coat and bling out. Y'all know how we do on this channel. I got to have some bling, honey. And I've been waiting to use some of these. Like, they are so cute. So I did go ahead and pick out one charm from my big old box of jewels. I also went ahead with some rhinestones here. Now, my family said that this was a butterfly. Does that look like a butterfly to y'all? They don't look like no butterfly to me. It looked like a bow. And I ain't never seen a butterfly rhinestone. Well, I have, but 
I just that wasn't in this kit <laughs> so I just went ahead and did my placement I usually just try to do my placement on you know see that's a bow that's not a butterfly so I used to try to do my placement before I lay them on the nails so I don't you know risk curing and you know having to take it off and all that stuff so I did try to get my placement to where I liked it I was like that's too many stones my nail ain't that long so i cut, cut a couple of them down but um, i feel like that was really cute simple um and i just went ahead and opened up my, some of my cherries these were so cute guys i think this was like six dollars for this little thing and they were so cute so i went ahead and i wanted to cure those on um, before because I know the nail is curved uh, obviously our nails are curved and they would slide and they did so I just went ahead and made sure that um, when I did put them on I tried to look at them sliding this is a shame <laughs> every time I put on charms they slide everywhere so that's why I pulled out my um, my uh, nail lamp there then I did go ahead and get those cured on and I also went ahead and put on the um, index finger there. I did have a phone call that I had to take, so I had to couldn't record that one, guys. I apologize, but isn't it cute? Those stones were so gorgeous. I've been wanting to do some red stones for so long, so I'm just gonna go in on the middle finger there, and I'm gonna go ahead and top coat that one. And the reason I only use top coat on my nails to adhere my crystals, and I don't use like a gem gel or the McCart rhinestone gel, is because I take these off once I'm done with the video. I may leave them on for a day or two at the most, but most of the time my charms don't fall off and I just put them back in their perspective, you know, places. So I usually take my charms off. Now for these couple of sets here, the um, the jean set, the denim nails, and this cherry set here, I did not take my charms off. Um, I have worn them when I went out of town, so and I got so many compliments, guys. Like these nails were so, so cute. But um, I just use top coat to adhere them, and that works for me. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put the butterfly on and then I'll cure and I'll be right back with the final results. Boom. Look how these nails are looking, guys. Like, I was so in love. Like, as always, <laughs> it is such an amazing um, feeling to see what you can create and what you can create out of almost nothing. Like, these nails were so gorgeous. Like, I really, really loved them. Guys, we're going to have some final shots, some final videos up in here just a little bit. But let's go ahead and top this set off with some cuticle oil. Now, I'm going to be using some cuticle oil that I did get out of a kit that I had got a long time ago. I just never used the cuticle oil. But this cuticle oil has really come in handy. And I really like the, the concept of the pen. So I'm going to be buying some more of these off of Amazon. I've seen some for like $3. I was like, hmm, that is very good pricing so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some cuticle oil here to nourish my cuticles and put back the life into my skin cuz Lord Jesus <laughs> we be doing some stuff with these nails y'all make sure y'all make sure y'all's nail health is actually intact and you're actually working on good healthy nails you don't want to damage your nails any further if they have been damaged or if you're not um, in good standing so make sure you're working on healthy nails but y'all this set came out so bomb i loved it like let's get these final shots this was so so cute i was so in love let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this set don't forget to drop those cherries in the in the comments to let me know that you enjoyed this set as much as i did oh uh, look at the charms gorgeous Make sure you hit that subscribe button and always know that I love you guys and make sure you hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.